This video is about one of the comments from our existing YouTube videos. Why you need to learn Fortinet. So this is what Andy asked about. If CCIE security specifically is still worth it, should he take it versus other vendor or network security certifications? This is another episode of 3D. It's supposed to be the daring decisions, but now it's your damn and daring decision. We're gonna talk about cybersecurity career related vendor certifications Cisco, Palo Alto Networks, Fortinet, Checkpoint, F5, and many more. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host. Name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Here's the thing. People still call it network security. But it's more than network, you know? Before, when cybersecurity was still the big buzzword, most security-related solutions are firewalls, VPNs, antivirus, AAA, etc. Most of these falls under network security. Yes, but security has already expanded, of course, because the threat landscape keeps growing and growing. We also have too many applications, too many users, attackers are becoming smarter and smarter, and hardware resources are getting faster and faster as well, and so many other things. So what we used to call network security is part of cybersecurity. Now, there are many vendors out there. We call them the big players. They're the providers of many different secure solutions. Not just network secure solutions, okay? For example, F5, other than network security, they also provide web application firewall, DNS security, IAM or Identity Acts Manager, etc. And we also have Palo Alto Networks, for example. They have uh, this next generation firewall solutions. They also have this Prisma Cloud, which is a cloud security solution as well. Fortinet, probably provides the most number of security solutions, believe it or not. They have next generation firewall, they have web application firewall, NAC, CM, and many more. Now, back to the original question. Is CCI security, specifically, is still worth it? Okay, so here's the question. What is a CCIE? Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert right? It's an expert level certification there. Not just expert level, it's the most popular and highly recognized IT expert level certifications. Okay, be my guess. Name any vendor expert level certifications that is more recognized than CCIE. Yeah, think. CISSB, that is vendor neutral. And that is all memorization. I know people with only two years industry experience pass CISSP because they can learn well by just reading books. And uh, by the way, I know CCIE people who easily passed CISSP, but I don't know any CISSP who easily passed CCIE security. Now, let's compare CCIE security to Fortinet NSE Level 8 or Network Security Expert 8. Do you think a security professional with NSE 8 will beat a CCI security? Well, this is when it comes to market value. I don't think so. How about JNCIE security? Do you think a security professional with JNCIE certification is equal or higher than a CCI security? Get out of here, man. How about other vendor expert level certifications? Let's check it out because 
I know is only Fortinet and JNCIE with expert level hands-on lab exam. Okay, so we have checkpoint. Checkpoint, we have CCSM or checkpoint certified security master. We also have F5 CSE security. CSE stands for certified solution expert in security. For Palo Alto networks, we have PCNSE, excuse me, PCNSC stands for Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Consultant. Well, all of these are just written based. Multiple choice. Not so impressive at all. How about their value? 100% sure, not as high as CCIE security, of course. These are not life changing certifications. So, is CCIE and security still worth it? Absolutely. The value of a CCIE is not or never going down. Is CCIE enough? It's enough to make your life change and move to another level or to have a better career. But it's not always enough. Of course, after CCIE and security, I suggest you to take CISSP or focus on cloud security such as AWS security or F5 application security. I want you to also know web application firewall. Or you can also understand and learn other vendor solutions such as Palo Alto Networks, F5, Fortinet, etc. Remember these. As an IT professional, one of the most important goal is to get at least an expert level certification. And which one is the best when it comes to market value? CCIE. Of course, there you go. All right, one more thing. Some hiring managers, they don't care much about meet or professional level certifications because some use dumps. For some, it's not impressive anymore. Preparing for CCIE is about the journey, not just certification. The result of your preparation will lead you in becoming a highly technical professional. And once you become a CCIE with the knowledge and experience you gained, learning Palo Alto Networks, Fortinet, AWS, I am telling you, it will all be a piece of cake. Real talk. Let's talk about the future. Will there be an expert level security certification that will beat CCI security? I will be completely honest to you. If AWS create an expert level certifications with multiple path, not just security, let's say advanced networking, AI, DevOps, etc., it is possible. You heard it right. If AWS creates AWS Certified Security Expert, for example, it would be more valuable than JNCIE Security. It will be more valuable than Fortinet NSE8. And there's a huge chance that it will overtake CCI Security. That is why it's a good combination to be a CCI Security plus AWS Certified Security Specialty. Can you imagine? How many security devices and platform that you will learn? For Cisco, they have next generation firewall. They call it Firepower. They have IAM. They call it Cisco Eyes. DNS security. They call it Cisco Umbrella. NDR. They call it Cisco Stealth Watch, and many more. Then for AWS, they have VAPT services. They call it AWS Inspector. They have AWS WAF. They have forensic investigator services. They call it detective. They also have security compliance and many others. So did I answer your question, Andy?